So oh, y'all, I did a thing. I bought three matcha drinks from Starbucks, Caribou, and Dunkin'. And I'm gonna taste test them for you today and let you know which one I think is the best. So from Dunkin', Starbucks, and Caribou, I got their hot matcha latte, their iced matcha latte, and their blended matcha drink. So we're gonna start with the iced matcha lattes. So this is the one from Dunkin', this is what it looks like. Let's just compare it in size. Okay, so this is in comparison to the Starbucks. It seems to me that the Dunkin' iced matcha latte is larger than the Starbucks version. And I would say it's pretty similar to the Caribou, but the true test, of course, is the taste. So now before I dive in, I'm just gonna quickly read you the ingredients. So for the Dunkin' Iced Matcha Latte, it has skim milk, matcha blend, which is cane sugar, matcha green tea, and fruit pectin. I don't know why they put fruit pectin in there. I don't know what the purpose is, but let's give it a taste. That's not bad. That's really not terrible. Hm. I'm not mad at that. It's not like extremely sweet. I think I can tell that it's skim milk, so it's not super creamy. Hmm. The matcha doesn't taste like it's like amazing quality. It's probably culinary grade. Overall though, not too bad. Okay, so next I'll try the caribou version. So for the caribou iced matcha tea latte, it contains matcha powder, milk, and vanilla served over ice. Now at caribou, they didn't really have a full breakdown of the ingredients, so they don't say like if this is whole milk or if this is skim milk or anything like that. But regardless, let's give it a taste. Whoa, I feel like that is heavily flavored with vanilla. It tastes kind of like a marshmallow. It's almost completely overpowering the matcha flavor. So I can't really tell what grade of matcha that would be. Yeah, with the Dunkin', you can definitely taste the matcha better. Ugh. I don't like that. If you want your drink to taste like a marshmallow, get that. Okay, and finally we have the Starbucks Iced Matcha Latte. The ingredients for the Starbucks Iced Matcha Latte, it's milk, ice, matcha tea blend, so that's sugar and ground green tea. So again, it seems like they don't say the fat content of the milk, but let's give it a taste. Well, the matcha flavor is definitely strongest on the Starbucks version. I'm not even gonna taste the caribou one again, that was terrible. The Dunkin' is a lot weaker than the Starbucks. And I would say, to me, the, the Starbucks tastes like the matcha is a higher quality, and it seems like there's just more matcha in there. I would definitely say it's a darker green. Yeah, Starbucks is definitely the winner on the iced matcha latte. Okay, so next, let's try the blended beverages. So I'll start with Dunkin again. So for Dunkin, the ingredients for their frozen matcha latte are water, skim milk, liquid cane sugar, which is pure cane sugar, water, potassium sorbate, which is a preservative, and then a matcha blend, which is cane sugar, matcha green tea, and fruit pectin. Again, I'm not sure why they have fruit pectin in there. And for comparison, Dunkin Small is definitely bigger than the Starbucks Tall. All right, let's give it a taste. Whoa. That's really sweet. Ugh, what is that flavor? That's definitely not as good as their iced matcha latte. There's not much flavor to it. Not, ugh, not really a fan of that. It has like almost like a cardboard flavor. Okay, let's give the Caribou Matcha Tea Cooler a try. Now, normally this comes with um, coffee bubbles or jellies or something in the bottom, but they were out of them, so I just had them give me the blended part of the drink, which I guess this is a closer approximation of the Dunkin' and Starbucks version anyway, so let's see if this tastes like marshmallows. Oh, uh, yeah, again, it's just a really overpowering, Whatever the flavoring, I'm guessing it's a vanilla syrup that they use. Oh, we forgot to go over the ingredients because caribou is so transparent. So for theirs, they have matcha tea powder blended with ice, vanilla, half and half, and signature shake mix. And it says served over coconut coffee jellies, which they didn't have. So this one does have half and half and it does taste creamier than the Dunkin'. But again, the, there's pretty much no matcha flavor. The Dunkin' is really sweet. 
Yeah, and the caribou definitely has a little bit of a salty flavor compared to the Duncan. Oh, these are both so sweet. Eh, not good. Okay, and finally we have the Starbucks version. I've had this before. I know that it's way better than Duncan. <laughs> And caribou. Okay, so for the Starbucks matcha creme frappuccino blended beverage, they have quite a few more ingredients. I mean, unless in caribou, they're just not disclosing the ingredients. So for Starbucks, they have ice, milk, creme frappuccino syrup, which is sugar, water, natural flavor, salt, xanthan gum, potassium sorbate, citric acid, whipped cream, which is cream, cream, mono and diglycerides, carrageenan, vanilla syrup, which is sugar, water, natural flavors, potassium sorbate, citric acid, classic syrup, which is sugar, water, natural flavors, potassium sorbate and citric acid and the matcha tea blend which is sugar and ground green tea okay let's give it a taste because i need more sugar also of note the starbucks comes with whipped cream on top where the other two did not all right here we go i'm definitely getting more of a matcha flavor than the other two a little bit of saltiness too i would say it's too sweet for me however compared to the duncan and the caribou the matcha flavor is much better it's almost nothing with the Dunkin'. And then with the Caribou, it just tastes like a marshmallow. So if you want a marshmallow flavored drink, get the Caribou, I guess. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's too sweet for me, but you do actually get the matcha flavor. Again, okay, look at the color comparison. Starbucks is definitely a darker green <laughs> than the Caribou. It's not that much different than Duncan, I guess, but I would say that it's a slightly brighter green color. Well, they're pretty close, but the Duncan just doesn't taste like much. Okay, and finally, let's taste test their hot versions of their matcha drinks. Okay, so here's what the Duncan looks like. They have a little poppy lid there, kind of fun. I'm gonna take the lid off and see what it looks like in there. Try not to burn myself. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I would say it's a fairly, fairly dark green color. It smells a little fishy. Matcha can have kind of a fishy smell. Usually it seems to me like lower quality matcha smells kind of fishy. So for the Dunkin' Hot Matcha Latte, the ingredients are skim milk, matcha blend, which is cane sugar, matcha green tea, and fruit pectin. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shake here. All right. It's not sickeningly sweet. It's too sweet for me though. You get some matcha flavor. It's not like, whoa, such strong matcha flavor. Not too bad. About on a similar level as the iced matcha latte. Okay, and let's give caribou a try. Okay, so for the caribou hot matcha latte, the ingredients are matcha powder steamed into milk and sweetened with vanilla. So that's all they give you for the ingredients list. For caribou, they have a little stir stick. So I'll give it a little, I guess I should look at the color. I would say it has a similar color to the Duncan. It just smells overwhelmingly of whatever the syrup is they put in it. And honestly, it smells like they over froth the milk. It smells a little bit like cooked eggs, which if you uh, heat the milk too hot, it can take on that flavor and smell, unfortunately. But let's give it a try. Yeah, this one tastes a little bit like a vanilla custard instead of a marshmallow. Yeah, but there's pretty much no matcha flavor. I'm not sure how it can look as green as it does and have pretty much zero matcha flavor. It must just be that their vanilla syrup has such a strong flavor that it overpowers the matcha. I mean, if you want a drink that tastes like an egg custard, it's not like it tastes disgusting. It just doesn't have much of a matcha flavor. Okay, and last but not least, we have the Starbucks hot matcha latte. For the Starbucks hot matcha latte, the ingredients are milk, matcha tea blend, and, which is sugar and ground tea. Again, they don't say what kind of milk they use. I wanna say that they use whole milk, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's look at the color of the Starbucks. It's looking pretty similar to the other two. It maybe looks a little bit darker green. This didn't come with a stir stick, so I'm just gonna give it a little swirl. Oh, I'm gonna give it a sniff, a sniff test. This one smells the most like matcha. I'm not really getting a fishy smell, but let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's not extremely sweet. 
I am getting some matcha flavor. It's not like super strong. Let me taste it against the Dunkin'. I'm guessing you're gonna be able to taste the matcha a lot better than this. Hmm. I would say that the matcha definitely tastes better quality in the Starbucks versus Dunkin'. If you've ever had ceremonial grade versus like culinary grade, like a lower grade, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. And the Dunkin' definitely has that lower quality matcha flavor. Hmm. I'm not sure about the Starbucks. I would guess that they're using like either a latte grade. I don't know. I wouldn't quite say it's ceremonial grade. Let me try the Starbucks versus the Dunkin' now. That just tastes like egg custard. Yeah, I mean, the Starbucks isn't actually getting, I'm not getting like a super strong matcha flavor, but the flavor is definitely better than the other two. Hmm. The Starbucks is not a bad cup of matcha. It's too sweet for me, but it's not bad. Keep in mind that I drink my matcha unsweetened, so that does affect my opinion. I just want to taste the iced Starbucks matcha versus the hot. Hmm. They're both good. I would almost say... I'd almost say that I prefer the Starbucks iced matcha versus the hot matcha. I'm gonna try the iced matcha versus the frappuccino. Hmm. I definitely prefer the iced matcha. It's a lot less sweet than the frappuccino. The frappuccino might have a little bit stronger matcha flavor, but I guess it's up to you to decide if you prefer less sugar or more matcha flavor. Okay, final thoughts. For caribou, if you enjoy a matcha flavor, caribou is not for you. Basically, it tastes like a marshmallow or an egg custard. There was pretty much zero matcha flavor. Maybe if you had never tasted matcha before, you could pick up on a subtle flavor, but for me, I like strong matcha flavor. And that was not it. There was pretty much nothing, and it was pretty sweet. So if you're a matcha fan, don't go to caribou. If you like a kind of sweet, marshmallowy, custardy sort of drink, you might like it. It's not bad tasting, it's just not matcha. For Dunkin', it's a little bit better than the caribou, I would say. There's more matcha flavor, and it's probably like a similar level of sweetness, maybe slightly less sweet than the caribou. But to me, it definitely tastes and smells like it's a lower grade matcha, but it's not terrible. It's just not amazing but if you really 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 got to get your matcha fix and that's all that's available uh, it would do the job but i would say that the clear winner here is definitely starbucks the matcha tastes and smells like it's higher quality the matcha flavor comes through more and i would say that it's probably less sweet than the other two the frappuccino is probably on a similar level of sweetness but the hot matcha latte and the iced matcha latte from starbucks i would say are less sweet than caribou and duncan okay but also let's go over the price comparison duncan was the cheapest for all three drinks it was twelve dollars and five cents next i believe was starbucks at fourteen dollars and twenty seven cents and they didn't give me a receipt at caribou but i know it was at least 14 dollars. i think it was 14 dollars and 84 cents somewhere along those lines so actually i believe caribou was the most expensive and you have the least matcha flavor they're just across the board not worth it i would not recommend if you like matcha don't go to caribou so duncan is the most affordable here but again starbucks is higher quality but i will also say that the tall Starbucks is smaller than the tall Dunkin' or Caribou, so you can keep that in mind too. But personally, I would rather pay a little bit more for a smaller drink that actually tastes good versus a larger drink that is lower quality in my opinion. Now, if you'd like to save some money by making your matcha drinks at home, then make sure to check out this video next where I recreated all of the Starbucks matcha drinks. So much sugar. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, cleanse my system. But now if you'd like to learn how to make... <gasps> A spider!